Hello, welcome back. I'm Berdi, your host. Uh, we will continue our journey in Houdini uh, viscosity. In the shelf tool, we will discover all these uh, tools. Okay, so let's uh, tap. Uh, let's first change the uh, interface. But this time we will use the shortcut, we will use Alt, uh, right click, then uh, Control, uh, right click. Okay, so we will flip flip it to left and right. Here the object and here the par parameter for any uh, node we select here. So let's tap let's type tap in the keyboard tap the bottom in the left and we will type uh, uh, tube okay enter we'll get double click or we can use i for the shortcut to get inside here okay we will uh, uh, increase the radius of course if we want to increase it by one uh, we, we use uh, the middle the middle uh, bottom or the wheel we we we, uh, we hit it okay then we will start uh, move the mouse to the left or to the right okay as we can see here this will will make it increase only uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.8. Okay, here one, two, three. Here, like 10, 20, 30, and so on. Okay. So let's just type two, and we will change it to polygon. Let's uh, decrease it for let's say eight. We will make copy here, uh, right click, copy parameters, and we will paste it here in the center in the Y, Y axis. Right click, uh, past, paste, paste relative re preference. We will type uh, by two. So we, we we type it a code. It said, "Give me whatever the volume, the whatever in the channel called height, like here, like one. Then uh, by it, uh, by by two. Okay. So that mean it will be like 0.5." We can also write another code like time is 0.5. It will give us the same result by 2 or time is uh, 0.5. It will give us half value of this parameter. So now it's, it's on the surface. Now we can uh, change the height. And as we can see, it will it will just uh, still uh, on the on the surface, but the height will be the height only will change. Okay, this is much better. Second, uh, we will type uh, end caps. Okay, we we have now what's called a polygon like a tube. Okay, we'll we'll type U or object here. To go back the shortcut is you okay when, when you select a geometry if you want to get inside it you you hit I or U okay to get in and out then we will select make sure that you are not select anything like this then select uh, lava and it's telling me select object to turn into lava press enter to accept selection okay so 
I will select this object I will hit enter now we, we are inside the DOB network DOB network is uh, the the geometry that all the uh, calculation happened inside it you know it's like uh, the, the kitchen you know okay we will type L to lay out the node tree now it's become much organized here we have the flip object the flip object is uh, the node that uh, have the initial data or the data it will start from okay so we have this flip object and this flip object it's read it as we can see here let's do this it's uh, read it as a surface sop okay from this sop called uh, object tube if we hit here it will take us to tube so here it take whatever we it it have uh, this green uh, this blue um, uh, this blue color okay let's say we we do something like this for example x uh, poly poly extrude extrude okay hit r when 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 i hit r it uh, it select the 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 other the uh, be the other uh, the below node okay of course i want to apologize about my english it's not very good uh, but i'm doing my best so let's say we will change the the distance we will go back again if we if we go inside dob network again we'll find that the the particle become different why because now it select the second node inside this object tube if, if i go there like this so whatever it's highlighted it, this is like highlighting so it will read uh, all the all the node uh, before before it okay but not after it okay so because i'm selecting this one it will read uh, this one but if i select if i highlight this one i come back as we can see it uh, select the first one okay i hope the idea is clear uh, so we have this particle uh, they uh, this node read the whole uh, geometry and it's read it's read it's uh, it's geometry as a geometry not a particles yani let's say we have here uh, geometry and particles it will read only uh, it will read it as a as a geometry okay okay so let's hit play so as we can see it's falling down we need a ground we will go to a collision uh, ground plane let's play again oh now now it's collision let's react with the with the ground right as we can see perfect so maybe let's let's change a little bit we will type l to layout this is the ground this is a new node this is the three nodes new three nodes that it added when we choose ground okay so let's uh, let's increase the the number of the particles here particle separation if i decrease this number it will increase the the points here and this mean it will increase the the details so we can see it here let's say 0 
so we have much more particle now that mean in this simulation we will have more details back if I go back I go inside tab fluid if I stand here or let's say I will, I will highlight this one so as we can see we have this geometry I will I will do a I will do a comparison comparison between both both of them right click on the flipbook flipbook with new settings okay let's hit start close so as we can see here the simulation is finished flipbook records uh, and simulate what happening in the viewport but uh, yani it's not a, a final render but it record only what happened in the viewport okay so let's hit play as we can see so let's make the other uh, simulation to see the difference and compare we will hit uh, windows sequence list okay this is the sequence we have now we will go to uh, render new sequence okay we go back get inside uh, the network we will make it like uh, let's say one okay but I think one it will be it will take much time so let's say it will be just one okay back uh, flip fluid right click flip book with new settings start so as we can see now the difference is huge like this is the uh, this is 0 0.5 in the in the particle separation as we can see it has much more details polygons but if we go to the second one like here it it has much less as we can see the comparison between both very ob obvious so when we increase it when when we decrease the number make it less that mean it will make a small distance between uh, particles mean it will have uh, much more particles and it will have uh, much more details okay I, th I I hope the difference is clear now so this will be the second lesson I see you in the uh, next lesson thank you and goodbye